Yo, what up everybody, Cardboard Moses, chilling like a villain, uh, still waiting for my lap dance, but uh, whatever, while we wait, let's do a little something, 2018 Heritage Baseball, four box break, number seven, uh, my green screen damn near fell on me just now, anyways, uh, listen people, four boxes is all fine and dandy, but uh, I get the feeling you might want to get into a full case action, if you do, Check out our website, ripcitycars.com. You can save yourself $15 on your first purchase. All you got to do is register for an account, and you will get that code emailed to you. Please keep in mind, that gift code does not apply to eBay. I mean, come on now, really? You may, you pretty much dictate the prices yourself on eBay. So, I mean, come on. You really want a discount on that? Not going to happen. Sorry. Four boxes. Number seven. Let's do it. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Uh, before the screen falls on me, let me put this thing up. Uh, oh, damn. I don't even have the fucking... I need, like, a little thumbtack for this. I probably stepped on it with my luck. That's gonna suck. Anyway. Good luck, everybody. And, uh, and as always... Good luck, everybody. The world famous Abraham. All right, let's open this up. We're only doing four boxes, so a little, a little taste, a little taste. Now, if you've never seen Heritage, uh, strap yourself in because we're gonna be here a while. Keep in mind, we're only doing four boxes. I've been doing a full case break of this on my website, ripcitycars.com. A full case takes me about two hours to do. That's a lot of cards. Alright, let's see what comes out of this. Good luck, peeps. And uh, let's see what happens. I hope you guys made your sacrifices to the cardboard gods. Because you're going to need all the help you can get. I, dude, I man, this stuff is hard. This stuff is hard. But if you if you hit the old uh, hit a variation or an error or something like that, it could be very nice. Yeah, it did take me three hours that one night, but that's because I was laughing for like a good hour. Of those three hours, was just me laughing. That was a fun night, Pappy. That was a real fun night. I mean, I got I got the full case down to about two hours, which is pretty good if you ask me. Especially the fact that I, I'm pretty decent at catching the short prints and whatnot. So there's that. So who is in this break? I've seen a few people ask for their, you know, some teams. Make your request known. And people, be as specific as you possibly can. And then watch the magic unfold. You know, I spend more time opening the packs than I do actually going through them. And Otani Real One Red Auto. Done and done. I mean, I mean, I did do this earlier today in a full case break. So, you yeah, know, what can I say? Yeah, that full caser I did for the store, for RipCityCards.com, was absolutely fire. Usually in a full case of this, it's averaging about two autographs per case, which is honestly not very good. But that case I did today, PYT number three, had four autographs. It was, it was ridiculous. It was really good case. Really good case.
So like I said, peeps, if you want to take a shot at a full caser, check us out, ripcitycars.com, register for an account, save yourself $15 off your first website purchase. Keep in mind, that code does not work for eBay. Sorry, guys. And gals, too. Gals, too. New product coming out this week. Donruss Baseball coming out tomorrow. Optic Football coming out tomorrow. And on Friday, Select Basketball coming out. I already have Select Basketball and Optic Football PYTs on our website. And uh, Donruss Baseball will be put up uh, shortly. See what we got here. Good luck, peeps. So off rip, you know, a Rosario of the Mets decal. I'm gonna go through these fairly quickly, mainly because it's gonna take us forever. If I go through the back of the cards, I'm just not gonna do that. Plus, my sorters get paid to do that. They go one by one. Look at that tiny ass little code. And if the number's right, it gets sleeved and top-loaded and sent your way. But I'm pretty good at catching them, honestly. I've, I've gotten pretty decent. Nothing here. Of course, if you notice something, let me know. I'll go back and I'll sleeve it and whatnot. I don't like that they're putting cards like that upside down. For That's not cool. Dansby Swanson of the Braves. That is to 999. Chrome Mojo there. That's both the Yankees. Let's see what happens. Nope, that's a base. Oh, here we go again. Come on now. Again with this. Seriously, who put this box together? Action image for Anthony Rizzo of the Cubs. Uh, Mike, as far as optic, it's at 29 spots right now. But do keep in mind, I can't break that until 11 a.m. tomorrow. Because, you know, we got rules as breakers, believe it or not. There is a breaker code. And I must adhere to it. So as much as I would love to rip that tonight, even if we, if you, even if we fill it, I can't do it until tomorrow at 11 a.m. And I'll be live by then. Tyler Anderson of the Rockies. That's a base short print, code 85. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that from now on. On release days, I'm just gonna go ham and just stream for at least 12 hours. I haven't seen him. Whatever. Get a random those. Brad Ziegler of the Marlins, base short print. There's that. Indians there. You're in OKC making that moolah, baby. Some of these are like I haven't seen before. So I gotta double check them. That Ryan Braun, base short print brewers. 
I mean, listen, there's no, there's, pro there's probably not going to be that many people online at that time when I go live tomorrow around noon. But whatever. You never know. You never know. Plus, I'm trying to I'm trying to fill these heritage breaks too, and these things take at least two hours to do full case style. So I figured, hey, let me go live a little bit longer, so we can get rid of that stuff. Get a random that. A lot of stuff to those freaking cards with more than one team. All right, this is honestly annoying me right now. For the Rockies, Nolan Arenado. Be Deckle. That's fine, Jason. I, I need the company. I need the company. Right, we hit the patch already in this? Yeah, we did. There's still a chance we can get an autograph, though. I, I did have one box where there was a patch and an autograph in the same box. That was pretty sweet. Mainly because the autograph was a one-on-one -on -one Johnny Bench. So that that's always nice. Whatever, whatever. And you're probably thinking to yourself, man, this guy's going pretty quick. Kind of. But uh, I'm also fairly confident in, in myself, my ability to catch the short prints. That, and there's also plan B and plan C, which entails me and my sorter going through every single card and making sure we pull out the variations. Jason Vargas of the Royals, code 85. That's a base short print. In case, in case you didn't know, you, you do now. And the ever-famous flashback card that we got a random. That Rip City and Chill hashtag. We got to get that thing popping, man. All right, that's one box down. Let's keep it moving. Uh, Joe, in this break, yes, everything ships. Box top or deal, do that at the end. Can I random off a friendship bracelet? Hail to the no. Each of these bracelets signifies something for me. And I, 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 I cannot be uh, coerced into giving them away. They just they mean too much to me. They really do. Plus, I don't know if you have the I don't know if you have sufficient swag to pull the bracelet look off. You know, these all these bracelets were were blessed by ancient uh, ancient wizardry that provides great mojo. And your mojo that I share with you guys, so you're welcome. Oof. You, you got to add a few zeros to that one if you want to bid on these bad boys because they priceless, dog. You know, I, I had to I had to uh, climb Mount Kilimanjaro, and at the very apex of the mountain. I got them blessed by uh, by a nomadic uh, sage. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Just to get good mojo. Some of you guys appreciate it. Some of you don't. Well, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. 
You know, nobody says shit to you when you're doing things right. But the moment you do something wrong, oh boy, everybody says something. R yes, I, I don't want to say it, Mike, but you beat me to it. The, the, the slap a whole tribe came through and, were, and you know, they, they, they blessed me. They, they saw my aura and they were like, you know what, that guy's worthy. And they, they, bes they bestowed upon me many otherworldly powers. The main one, hitting straight dingers from my peeps. Dependent, dependent on whether I like you or not. I'm just kidding. Well, Jason, that, that actually, that last statement is not true. I, I fuck up on the daily. I do have a magic dong. I got that blessed too, Garrett. How'd you know? You know, people look at it and say, oh my God, I didn't know it could be that small. And I say, baby, I'm a, sh I'm a, I'm a grower, not a shower. That's what I tell, I tell the ladies all the time. I'm like, listen, I'm really, really small. And then when they don't care and then they see it, then they're, you know, happily surprised. Like, oh my God, I thought you said it was small. You know, always, and you know. That's how you gotta. That's how you gotta get them. You gotta, you gotta hit them with the, the with the Jedi mind tricks. Is that R.A. Dickey? It is. A base short print. Boom. Garrett, you already know, dog. Your your boy got that knowledge. Your boy got that knowledge. Dude, I would love to pull one of those celebrity autos. I don't. I haven't seen one yet. I mean, I haven't exactly looked on eBay either. I'm sure. I'm sure they've been hit. But uh, me personally, I have yet to hit a single one of those celebrity cards. But now that I mentioned it, it's probably gonna come out. The cardboard gods are funny that way. Another base short print match shoemaker angels. Pretty much the no. Listen, they be they be knowing Garrett. They have nothing else to do up in the mountains. The flashback cards we will random. Ah, uh, whoever specifically whoever packaged this box was like, you know what? Fuck Uncle Jesse. I know he hates it, so I'm gonna do this and put cards backwards for him. That's like a uh, uh, pet peeve, pet peeve. See this? Oh, why? Well, this is nice. Rafael Davers of the Red Sox. This is an action image. Code zero one. Look at that. Your boy. Your boy be knowing. Your boy be knowing. There you go, Red Sox. An action image for Davers. Rafael Davers, if you're nasty. Uh, Got to random that. I Dude, I have yet to come across... Any of those error cards on the rookie cup trophy. I did the very first case I did, and then after that, I haven't seen a single one. I mean, like, every other card is facing one direction. Why couldn't you do it for the other two? Like, the fuck? Little things annoy me. Little things annoy me. Matt Boyd does not annoy me for the Tiger. Because that's a base short print. Where did they take these pictures? I feel like they took these pictures like in someone's backyard or something. Straight up base. Cole Calhoun. That's a base. Paul Goldschmidt of the Diamondbacks with a patch. I I think I hit one magenta back last night in the full caser. Obviously, the only way for me to tell on those is to go, oh, hey, that looks like a different color. 
and to obviously read the code in the back of the card. I need some hotness. I need some hotness. That's a base short print for Yomer Sanchez of the White Sox. Hmm. Man, some of these I haven't seen before, but they're getting me. Uh, Bryce Harper. Nationals. Deckle, Edge. Oh, now they want to do three backward. Okay, now, now I know they just want to tick me off. Got a random that. For the Nationals, Max Scherzer. The Refractor, that is numbered to 569. Last stack here. Got to random that. Clint Frazier. I believe that's an action image. It's not. Code oh, it's the color swap. Team color swap. For the Yankees, code zero two. There you go, Yankees. It's all about them variations, dog. All about them variations. Matt Harvey is a B short print for the Mets. Of the flashback cards. I did hit. I hit an Ian Happ error card in the very first case I did of this, and I have not come across an error card since. A few color swaps, a couple nicknames, and that's about it. All right, we have. Two boxes down and two bow to go. I see somebody picked up the Indians in the Heritage PYT number four. Thank you very much. Where are they at? So the Heritage full caser is now down to 26 spots. Yeah, I would like to remind people that uh, once I fill that PYT number four of Heritage, I'm going to give away a box of Heritage for somebody. The 69 buyback card in there. Really, Jason? Wow. The hobby never ceases to amaze me. What can I say? Alright, I took care of that. And I think I did that. Yes, yes, I did. All right, cool. Let's see. Oh, next eBay break is at midnight. I got about half an hour. Oh, I got time. Luckily for y'all, 
I'm, uh, I've, I've become pretty proficient with this brick here. It's a buttload of cards, but I know how to navigate through those murky waters. While I want to multitask here, see what these eBay messages are about. Alright, check the first eBay message. Not a nasty message. Nice. Another message that is not bad at all. Nice. Okay, okay. Two actually nice messages. Okay, that's a new one. Ooh, somebody just called me the best YouTuber. I'm not even a YouTuber. I'm just on YouTube. Awesome. Damn, what happened today? Today, eBay was... Yeah, that's funny as shit. Last night, I had like a couple... A couple assholes that uh, came through and sent me some pretty nasty messages. And today, pretty nice. Ooh, and there goes that streak. I see one message on there that is uh, not cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the next 20 minutes thinking about how I'm gonna respond to this this character on eBay, and hopefully by the end of the 20 minutes I've calmed down and you know, and I just give him a semi sarcastic response. Uh, Jason, I didn't get a message from you on eBay. Well, Mike, I appreciate that. I mean, te I mean, technically, I'm not a YouTuber. Yeah, no, dude, that's what I do all the time. This is this is this is what I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys my 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 uh, my customer service like deal. Well, Jason, I haven't got anything, dude. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, what I like to do is I you know if I if I get a really nasty eBay message. I'll type up a message saying how I how I really want to respond to them, and I make it as nasty as possible, right? And then I'll just read the message to myself over and over and over and over and over again. And then usually after the 25th time of me reading the message to myself, I start to chuckle. And then I get over it, and then, you know, I actually type up, uh, you know, a decent message after that. A, a neutral message, you know? But God, I wish I could send the first message I type. I do it all the time, I swear. That's like, it keeps me sane. I, I type up a really mean message, and then I don't send it, and then I really, and then, you know, I erase it, and then send the nice one. Anyway. I'm weird. So, tell me something I don't know. Justin Verlander, if you don't know, with a patch for the Astros. Herman Marquez, you're a base card. I haven't seen that dude. Well, that's why, because it's a base short print. Well, Jason, I mean, again, I haven't received a message from you. I don't have an email, and I don't have a message from you on eBay. So if you want, if you like, I mean, send it again, maybe. I don't know. Paul Goldschmidt, D-backs, Deco, Edge. That's all Dodgers there. Boom. I really hope I don't have a fucking wisdom tooth coming out. That's gonna suck. It already kind of sucks. I can't. Eat, I can't eat. I can't eat on the right side of my my mouth. 
Yeah, I hit a Justin Verlander patch for the Astros, Michael. Uh, now for the Angels, Garrett Richards. That's a base short print. Well, if you missed it, there it is again. Boom! And if you didn't catch that one, then go back on YouTube. Uh, oh, anyway. Yeah, I, 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 you sent it through an order. Oh well, no wonder I didn't get it, Jason. We don't read that. You dude, if you go, if you want to send me like, I read messages. Like you have to directly send us a message on on eBay. You know, on those invoices or whatever. When you attach your, you know, you want to put a little note or whatever. I I do not read those. As long as you paid, that's all I care about. Just just keeping it a buck. Francisco Lindor with the action image for the Indians. I mean, do I really have to check the code in the back? Or are you going to trust me? No? You don't trust me? All right. Let's double check. Code 01. Not surprised. Not surprised. Mancini, that would be nice if I could get like a rookie card cup error or something. Mm. What else? What else? What else? Got a random that. Hey, it's a decal for Gary Sanchez, Yankees. Nope. So, well, I try to catch them all, but, you know, like Pokemon, can't catch them all. I try to, though. I'm probably the only one that caught that Pokemon reference, and I'm cool with that. That's a base short print. Victor Martinez of the Tigers. Bryce Hoskins, Phillies Deckel. I hit his autograph earlier today. That was nice. Is it going to happen again? I don't know. Let's find out. I got the rest of this box and another box to go. Got a random that. I think that's a big short print. It is. Your boy be knowing. Your boy be knowing. Lonnie Chisenhall of the Indians with a base short print. Got a random this. You Darvish of the Dodgers. Not a short print, but I do believe these are numbered to less than 50. At least that's what they tell me in the streets. Those cards that have the black border on them. Angels, Brandon Phillips, that is a base short print for the Angels. Lonnie Chisenhall is not a bad name. I mean, there's people out there, you know, there's there's somebody out there with the name Apple. So let's put that out there. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make it personal. Dude, I got a cousin... And her name is Brooklyn. Do you want to know why her name is Brooklyn? I'm pretty sure you can guess why. Because she was born in Brooklyn. I swear, my cousin's a fucking idiot. Buster Posey Giants, Chrome to 999. I feel bad for her. So whenever she grows up and she's like, Uncle Jesse. You know, even though I'm not really her uncle. But you know how it is. She's going to be like, Uncle Jesse. How'd I get my name? Well, I'm going to be like, so well, sit down, baby girl. You know, once upon a time, uh, your daddy was a dumbass. And she's going to be like, Uncle Jesse, what's a dumbass? And I'm like, well, it's your daddy. And she's going to be like, oh. And I'm like, yeah, once upon a time, he decided it was a good idea to name you Brooklyn. 
But Uncle Jesse, that's a city. You're right, babe. It is. It is a city. It's also your name. Ah, oh, Uncle Jesse, I don't like that name. Can I change that name? Of course you can. But you got to wait till you're at least 18 years old. Or unless a parent or a guardian, I, I think, does it for you. Uncle Jesse, can you change my name for me? Uh, no, I can't. Because I'm neither a parent nor a guardian. Oh, man. So you're telling me I'm stuck with this name till I'm 18? Yep. Yep, you sure are. That's how that conversation is going to go. He really named her like, wow. Poor girl. Poor girl. She's a little baby. She's still a little baby. She don't even know what's going on. I can't wait till I can have like a conversation with her. And I'm gonna I'm gonna legit so how do you so how do you like your name? <laughs> there's a there's well Willow? Yeah, but that's slit oh you know what? I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there. Fucking there's 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 a kid named Apple. I think like some 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 celebrity named their kid Apple. Like for real. I think Michael Jackson named one of his kids like Blanket or something, right? Yeah, there you go, Mike. Exactly. I think I think Michael Jackson named one of his kids Blanket. Like, wow. Are you are you for real? And then there's people that name their kids, like, after their season. Like, oh, my name's June. Oh, yeah? Let me guess. You were born in June? <gasps> oh, my God. How'd you know? Yeah. Got some basic-ass parents. That's how. Now, I will say, Taco Charlton is a pretty fucking swag name. His name's not actually Taco, but the fact that they allow him to put his nickname Taco on cards is pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. If I were him, I would draw like a little taco next to the autograph too. For the one on ones and make it just that much more saucier, you know? Anyway. Last box mojo right here. Let's see what we got. Hot sauce on my burrito, baby. What am I doing after this? I think I have, yeah, I have another break after this. What's the greatest name for an athlete? Mm, that is a hell of a question. I don't know. I think Usain Bolt's pretty baller. I like that name, Usain Bolt. The dude has the dude has the word Bolt as his last name, and he just so happens to be like the fastest man alive. I mean, could 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 you write up a more perfect story than that? Anyway, last box mojo. Good luck, people. That goes to the Cubs. Chris Bryant, Deckel. Get out of my head, Mike Murphy. Get out of my head. see what we got here for the peeps can we get like an autograph and can we make it hot please i think that's a base short print it is logan morrison rays shaquille is a pretty crazy name too i dig it and you know what lebron lebron's actually a pretty pimp name like who the who the fuck would have thought of that one Side block of the Giants. It's not a short print, but it does have the black border around it. Bled out.
Great minds think alike, uh, Mike. What can I say? The Clint Frazier, I'm sorry, Todd Frazier is a base short print for the Yankees. Swoop. Can we hit an auto? And can it be a huge one? Wade Davis of the Cubs. Base short print. A nickname card or something. Come on now. Let's give the people what they want. Metal World Peace is pretty baller. Metal World Peace is pretty baller. I would keep that autograph for show. And cherish it forever. Ender Inciarte, that's a pretty out there name for the Braves. Chrome Action, number to 999. Alright, we got Rafael Davers for the Red Sox Deco Edge. Ocho Cinco was a great name. People forget how nice he was, man. For the A's, Chris Davis, the patch for, you guessed it, the A's. So we hit straight patches in these boxes. It's about, it's either one auto or one relic in a box of this stuff. I'm still, I'm still putting, holding out hope that we, they put an extra auto in here for us. Instead, well... There's a Cody Bellinger of the Dodgers. Action image. Cold zero one on that. That's pretty decent. There you go, Dodgers. What else we got? Rizzo of the Cubs with the Deco Edge. Babe Ruth is another dude with a sick name for sure. Last stack mojo. Come on, sneak an auto in here for the boys. That's a short print. Lance Lynn of the Cardinals. Base short print. Got to random the flashback cards. That might be it. Kind of random those. Looks like it is it. That was a break, y'all. Now, we still got a few things to random. More importantly, we got some stuff still to open. The box topper and the 69 cards. See what we have. This is true, Jason. I don't know too many people by the name of Snickers or or, or Kit Kat. For the Cubs on the back, Orioles, Brewers, Yankees on the front. You gotta random this. Let's see what's in the 69 packs here. Buyback Mojo. Well, there's a magenta on the back there. We have Bob Chance of the Angels with the magenta back. I got two more packs to do. Let's see what we got. Is that a, another magenta? I think so. We have Denver Lemaster. For Houston and the Astros, I can only assume. 
And the last one is going to be a pilot for Joe. So he can at least have one pilot. Let's find out. I've got to be careful with this. Don't want to ruin the original 1969 card. I mean, this thing is difficult. All right, there you go. What do we have? Seriously? It's uh, Danny Cater for the A's. Look at that haircut. That's a real American man right there. Sorry, Joe. No pilots, dude. These are the 69 cards. Well, let's go ahead and do the randoms. Separate these. So these are three teams. Four. And we have two. So three. Two. Three. This is four. Three. Four. Three. Uh, three, 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 two, and three. All right. So the way we're going to do this random, or these randoms, I should say, fairly simple. Now, it's either going to go to the left or the right side team. Odd number left team, even number right team. Odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. Good luck. Even number six. So it's going to the right side team. So this one goes to the Indians. Uh, yeah, Ray, I already broke it. Video uploaded. And congratulations, you won a free heritage box. Uh, Indians, Marlins, Rockies. Boom. So this goes to right side team. And since we rolled the number six, that is the number we're going to be using. For the randomizer. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Because now we gotta random these three uh three team cards. Well this one is all Dodgers, so that's irrelevant. But uh these boys got three different teams. So the way we're gonna random it, it's either gonna go to the left side team, the team in the middle, or the team to the right. We're going six times in the random. Good luck. Money shot six. Six times. It's going to the right side team. So this one goes to Dodgers, Rays, Royals, Rangers, Brewers, Yankees, A's, Marlins, D-backs, Nationals, Rays, Royals, Rangers, and the Dodgers. So, the ones with three teams, right side team, and now let's do the four teams. Got a little system for this one. As you can see, there are four teams, so I'm going to number them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Six times in the random. Here we go. Money shot six. Boom. Six times. Going to the two spot, which is the team smack dab in the middle. So this goes to Dodgers, Red Sox, and Dodgers. Still got a couple more to random. Now let's do the box topper. There's a team on the left, in the middle, on the right, and a team on the back. So let's do it. So we have left, center, right, and back. Going six times in the random. Good luck. Money shot six. Blammo. It's going to the team in the middle. So the Brewers get the box stopper. And the flashback cards have to get randomed to every single team so let me go ahead and uh go ahead and grab that do the old control 
C and the old control V. Copy and paste if you didn't know. Six times in the randomizer, you know the deal. This is for the flashback cards right here. Five and the money shot six. Congrats, Rockies. You're going to receive the flashback cards from 1969. Right. This one, too. And uh, time for a recap. Spoiler alert, zero autographs. Straight napkin action. Chris Davis, Angels. Justin Verlander, Astros. Paul Goldschmidt, Diamondbacks. Yadier Molina, Cardinals. I found quite a few base short prints and uh, a couple action cards. The uh, team color swap there for Clint Frazier, Yankees. And, you know, some action stuff. And that was the break, guys. 2018 Heritage Baseball. Four box break, number seven, eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get that out to you.